All right, Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver is back with us. Good morning, Tyler. Happy Halloween, Steve. And to you, my friend. Thank and you. we have, uh, by the way, great Jen St. Denis costume. I never would have guessed. Oh, uh, you know, I can't <laughs> believe you're the first person to get that this morning. There I, I you really go. See, that. look at that. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't know which is worse. Anyway, okay, let's go to <laughs> August GDP numbers. Yeah, you know what? They're up, but just a tiny bit. Uh, we had growth of 0.1% in August. Now, uh, this is good. Uh, I mean, we had, uh, this is a third consecutive month of growth. Uh, this follows those first five months of the year where we had the economy contract all that time. And there's all that talk about, are we in a recession? Is it a technical recession? What do we call this? But there's growth, but it's only 0.1%. This comes after uh, June had 0.4% and July had 0.3% growth. So it's not spectacular numbers, but let's take a look at what's going on in the US. Uh, they had their Q2, or I should say their Q3 uh, GDP numbers come out yesterday. They're projecting uh, annualized growth for the quarter to be at 2.5%. Uh, or 1.5%, right. whereas the Bank of Canada forecasts that uh, here at home, it's going to be 2.5%. So hmm. U.S. might be slowing down a bit. Canada, it is picking up steam, but um, we would have liked to see better numbers coming out uh, for the month of August. Okay, let's move on and talk about this Vancouver electric bus manufacturer, Green Power, and uh, how they're finding success places other than here. Yeah, well, they just signed their very first uh, deals. Uh, th this all just came uh, in the month of uh, October, signed three deals this past month. They're going to be producing more than 20 all-electric uh, buses for various uh, U.S. companies and jurisdictions. And that's where the business is. It's not here at home in Canada where we have the technology. We have uh, companies like uh, Westport Innovations, Ballard Power Systems. They're doing a lot of this clean technology, but they're not making a lot of sales here at home. Um, Ballard, they just signed deals with various Chinese municipalities and companies worth more than $30 million. This is over the past six months. And uh, Green Power's deals uh, they're going to be worth more than uh, four and a half million dollars, uh, or I should say five and a half million dollars. But again, they're putting a lot of their focus uh, down in California and down in Washington State as well. Hmm. I, I, I just, we're not seeing a lot of appetite from certain jurisdictions here in Canada to get similar clean energy vehicles on the roads, which it can be a little frustrating for these uh, sure. local companies that yeah, are having great innovations right here. And a bit surprising, I'm sure, for people as well. Yeah, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, we are getting promises from the new government that they're going to be looking more to clean energy. So maybe there is a little bit of hope for uh, these, uh, these great uh, local companies moving forward. Okay, we'll take a look. Thanks very much for that, Tyler. Thank you, Steve.